Introducing the all new smoke fired honey barbecue burger. Big, juicy, tangy, fire. Smoke fire. Get yours now. Nowhere. Okay, so today, this is the setup. We're in Kendall's dad's automotive shop, Star Motors. I promised him I would say that. And we have our black backdrop, but we're gonna get into that. But first, we're gonna kind of talk about how to make a product burger look good. Something like that. So if you've watched Burger King, McDonald's, Jack in the Box, Carl's Jr., Sonic, whatever, they have these very signature looking burger commercials. And that's what we're gonna replicate. Okay, as you guys can see, we have a bunch of different products here for things that you're gonna need to style your burger. We got skewers, we got ourselves a professional looking spatula, we got a spritzer, canola oil, oil canola oil, hairspray for flames, crinkled pickles, we got the toothpicks, tampons, very important, honey, barbecue sauce, we got our buns, we got some wire, and also black shoe polish. And I'm gonna show you guys now how we style it. So the first trick is after cooking your burgers is to find burgers that are gonna look the best. Right now I've kind of selected two that I like a lot, but we're gonna start with this one right here. We've dabbed it off to make it a little bit cleaner just for right now because the first thing that we're gonna do is make the burnt lines, the grill marks, because that's gonna make it look very picturesque. So what we're gonna do is struggle. Jesus. <laughs> just wait one sec, it's coming. Why did that make these things so hard to do? Okay, what the heck? Oh, you just twist it. I'm just a fool. All right, cool, we got it. So we're gonna take a little bit of this shoe polish like this. And then we're gonna make our lines from back to front. So you're gonna wanna figure out what part of the burger looks the best. What do you think? Keep going, I'm gonna keep returning. I'm not, this is not Dora the Explorer. I'm asking you guys, cause obviously nobody can respond to me. Wait, what do you think? What part do you like the best? Okay. Uh, Maybe that one right there. Like that? You're gonna wanna select buns that look really pretty in the front. Front, um, you know, not too wrinkly, not too cracked, but have nice even sesames. So we found this and we kind of rotated them like this because this is what we're thinking is gonna be the front right here. And we're gonna place this one down. We're gonna give it a little bit of a spray first, give it a little glisten. My hands are nice and oily. Beautiful. So that's gonna make us have a nice shiny bun. And then we just pat dry it a little bit so it brushes on. So now look at that. Look how pretty that is. Nice and glisteny. The trick is, is that you're gonna to wanna to place the burger up front a little bit like that. You want everything kind of hanging off. You want it sticking out. So, perfect, just like that. Now we got our cheese, this is next. And what we're gonna do is we're placing everything on the burger like this. We wanna have it forward. Let me face that towards everybody just like that. We kinda wanna have everything sticking off a little bit forward. So same with the cheese, you're gonna want it to hang over just a little bit. All right, so what we're doing now, as we're stacking it up, we got the cheese coming over the edge, the pickles coming over the edge, we got thick onions to give it that space. I'm taking these toothpicks right here and we're sticking them in, it's fine. And I'm sticking them in because we're now creating kind of a shelf in the back. And what we need to do is make it flat so that the tomatoes can sit nice and easy. So just gonna stick these in, very simple. It's like, wow, that is a tasty burger. Pulp Fiction. Okay, so we now use the skewer in the back because we're gonna finish by placing this bun evenly like that so it looks like it's sitting even. This is pretty much the final of the burger. We're gonna do a few more touches once we get the bun on, but we got the, the bun burger with the marks, the cheese laying perfectly, then the pickles, crinkly pickles, right? And then the thick onion, tomatoes, lettuce. We want it to be high because it just looks a lot tastier when it's nice and big because everybody wants to 
put a little bit of money for something big, right? And then before we put the bun on, remember you find the right spot for it. I liked this spot right here. This spot right here is pretty nice too, actually. We're just gonna take the canola oil, spray it. Get the edges like that, and then take the paintbrush like so, and then smooth it out to give a nice glisten, or a makeup brush, whatever you have. All right, so this is our master shot. This is actually the first shot that we're gonna do. And what we did is we set up all of our burgers nice and pristine right here. We have our main burger in the center and then our other two falling off to the side and put some height to that to kind of give it a little bit of a hero shot. What We have the camera on the slider and it's just gonna pull back nice and simple to create this beautiful end shot. And then I'm running the 300D Mark II with the lantern. So it's giving a nice top light right here, but also giving us a little bit of light on our background. Then we have the other 300D on a light dome and I'm coming in at an angle to give that nice, beautiful Marilyn Monroe look, right? And then we have our Godox in the back um, and that's giving us a nice backlight. And then we just have it on a stone slab because I wanted something a little bit different. I've seen a lot of these commercials and they use a stone slab. So we have a black stone slab that we greased up to kind of give it a nice glisten. Now we're gonna take the heat gun and we're gonna just heat the tips of the cheese so they bend over and they look like they're actually cooked, so. Get yours now, nowhere. Okay, so our setup is exactly the same as our last shot, but now what we're doing is we put the display rotation table down and then put black plexiglass, and now we're just gonna get some nice rotating shots of the burger. Pretty much before we start destroying anything, we're getting all the beauty shots first. You burn it. fire. Okay. So the next shot that we're gonna do, like any good burger commercial, is that you need a grill shot. And so what we did, since I don't have an industrial size grill, I found at Home Depot an indoor um, closet rack. Shelf. Indoor closet shelf and we spray painted it silver to look like a grill. Then we put some wood chips underneath just to give an ambience effect and then use bricks to hold it up. Then we have the patties right here and then we're just using our torch, which is hairspray and a lighter. I do not condone you doing that at home, but that's what we're doing to create the light. Go. Smoke fire. $5 if you can take a bite out of it at full spin. All right, ready, go. <laughs> Introduce the all -new. So I've been seeing a lot on Instagram people doing this burger drop shot using these really expensive robots and stuff. So we're gonna try to attempt it very cheaply with just a stick in the center. We have now glued everything to it and then we made a hole right here in the burger and Kendall's gonna be down there doing the same as our Pringles thing and just doing a puppet and I'm gonna mask it out in post. One pull. All right, so for this last shot, what we did is we had the Aperture 300D overhead right here. We brought the light dome more to the side and we still had our backlight with the Godox. And I had Alex just take the vegetables, we spritzed them a little bit, and just have them cut them nice and even so we can get some close ups of the different ingredients that go in the burger. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Nice one, smooth. Smoke fired honey barbecue burger. All right, guys, so unfortunately, sometimes on shoots, you're not gonna be able to get all your shots on the day of shooting and I didn't have enough shots for my video. So now I'm going in and grabbing two more shots. One of them is gonna be just the burger sizzling and we're using the macro 100 and we're just doing it here right in my house with the 300 on a lantern. And go. 
All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something from this mess of a shoot of some sort. Um, yeah, at least if you take anything away, hopefully you took away how to make a burger look pretty that you can't eat. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment, like, share, subscribe below, and until next time. Introducing the all new smoke fired honey barbecue burger. Big, juicy, tangy, fire. Smoke fire. Get yours now. Nowhere.